the era of vibe coding, it's dead. Nick, were you ever a vibe coder? I dabbled. Nothing, nothing too impressive. I've made no money, nor lost too much. What about yourself? Sure. Exposed APIs? <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> vibe coding was the art of writing software using all these AI tools we have access to, guided more by intuition, aesthetic flow, chaotic genius, rather than any formal structure. Code that feels right, even if it makes the compiler completely cry. I've admitted many times that I never got past Hello World in countless coding language, yet I'm able to vibe my way to some pretty crazy results that I could never have dreamed of. And it's really powerful to get something quite interesting, quite exciting through just words. So now we're seeing a shift from vibe to to intention. From freestyling to designing with context. If you want AI to be useful, you've got to set the scene. You've got to have clear goals, relevant information, memory, history, boundaries. Why is this news? Because enter the new kid on the block. Context engineering. It's a new phrase. All the kids are saying it, apparently, and you're going to hear it more and more in AI and education circles. It's about supplying all the information needed for an LLM to plausibly solve a task. Great prompts. Yeah, sure, that's one part of it, but also memory, history, goals, constraints, and expected outputs. Intuition does not scale but structure does.